to presentation in this session nine. So the next presentation is uh, presented by Professor Murza, the Universal Awareness, Universal Awareness Malaysia. The title is My East Asia Universe Awareness Solar Eclipse. Unite Universe Awareness Community in the Region. So your presentation is allocated 20 minutes and I will send a beep sign at 15 minutes, five minutes uh, remain. So please start for your presentation, thank you. All right, okay, thank you, a very good morning. So thank you for the organizers. Um, so today I'm together again with you guys. So before I start, uh, let me share my screen first, okay. Okay, can you can see my screen? Yes, okay. you, I, I, we, we can see your screen. All right, let's start. Okay, very good morning. My name is Hafiz Murza. I'm from uh, Upper De Langit, Universal Awareness Malaysia. So today I'm going to talk about my East Asia Universe Awareness Solar Eclipse or my universe, uh, Unite Universe Awareness Community in the region. Okay, I'm representing Upper De Langit, also known as Universe Awareness Malaysia. Okay, so as mentioned by my friend just now, um, Upper De Langit, I'm the founder of Upper De Langit, Hafiz Murza, and my friend Amirul Hazim is a co-founder. Upper De Langit uh, also means uh, what in the sky, uh, in the translation. Um, we are also universal awareness. Uh, please follow, uh, like, and subscribe our social media. And our aim is to inspire Malaysia generation with our wonderful cosmos. So we have done a lot of uh, outreach astronomy activities. Uh, throughout Malaysia. Uh, yeah, you can find out all the information in the website and the social media as well. Okay, so before we start, we need to know what is Universe Awareness. Universe Awareness is initiated by Professor George Millet in 2004 in Leiden University, Netherlands. And, you know, we become a constant project of the successful UN ratified IAU UNESCO International Year of Astronomy in 2009. I, I was in 2009. And you know, it is also endorsed by UNESCO and the IAU, International Astronomical Union, and it's now integral part of the IAU strategic plan 2010 and 2020, which called Astronomy for the Developing World. Um, all right, so for a uh, long time, um, you know, Universal Awareness already have about 63 members countries that consists of a uh, global network. So in Malaysia, I'm representing Universal Awareness Malaysia, uh, handling a Universal Awareness project in our country. So we are now about 20, 63 countries. We are looking forward to collaborate with all the countries around the globe. So due uh, in conjunction with solar eclipse on 21st of June, 2020 that happened recently, and because of the global lockdown due to COVID-19, we initiate our online program called uh, My East Asia Universe Awareness Solar Eclipse uh, with the title Under One Sky. It's organized by Upper De Langit Universe Awareness Malaysia, supported by IAU Office of Outreach and also Universe Awareness from Lai University, and also in cooperation with uh, National Planetary Malaysia and also IAU and OC Malaysia. Uh, yeah, we have about 10 countries collaborated in this event, starting from the Thailand, Malaysia, we have Vietnam, South Korea, Singapore, Indonesia, Japan, Taiwan, Brunei, and Philippines. Okay, these are among the collaborators that we have, and also we also collaborate with our Malaysia amateur astronomers uh, together in the program. All right, so our objectives are to draw public interest in astronomy phenomena such as annular or partial solar eclipse that happen in this region and to develop partnership with Universal Awareness Partners in East Asia region and Upper De Langit Universal Awareness Malaysia and to provide accessibility on annular or partial solar eclipse in East Asia during COVID-19 pandemic via online platform. That is the main objectives that why we are doing this event. Online and also not to be forgotten to promote the pale blue dot message under one sky message. All right, so we are we are aimed to first share each country's solar eclipse activities and folklore related to the phenomena. So during the event, most country will share about their solar eclipse activities at the moment and also share about the folklore related to their culture culture uh, in, with the phenomena. And we are also broadcasting photos and maximum solar eclipse from each country. And we also 
I think important for us to appreciate people who are actually working behind this event. So we have like a mosaic of people behind this event from each country to appreciate everybody who working hard uh, throughout the event. Okay, for the report, uh, that's the best part. Um, surprisingly, we have about 4.1K views around uh, East Asia uh, during the moment where lockdown and uh, we believe at the same time a lot of uh, activities happen and every uh, country have their own events and they are broadcasting it as well. So we managed to get about 4.1K views and we have about uh, nine, uh, 59 shares from uh, everybody and 7,298 reach that we have. Uh, that's a, I think for us, because we didn't have a ma major target for the time, so that's a good number for a kickstart. Okay, at the same time, uh, we have a research from Japan, uh, from Mr. Tomita-san, who shared with us uh, their, uh, that his report, and he do two things here. First, uh, Mr. Tomita-san uh, presented in Japan Geoscience Union, Earth Science Education, Education Outreach Station, uh, and he presenting our uh, event and at the same time he also doing a research on the feedback from the audience uh, of international multi-site solar eclipse internet broadcasting program my universe that the important part i think i would like to share with you guys um the result of the research uh, i just quote from the research that the shadow cast have nothing to do with national border uh, indicate that universe i mean the east asia universe goals of the under one sky was well conveyed so thank you everybody who participate in this event and make uh, this event successful all right so this uh this is this is the uh, photos of a maximum solar eclipse that happened in here uh, taiwan is the um annual solar eclipse and others are the partial so we have all the maximum uh, solar eclipse that happened at that time and also we have people behind the event those people who are working hard to make this event successful we really appreciate them we congratulate them to make this event at uh, the first time event successful okay and what next yeah so what gonna happen next is uh, because we have the first time uh, universe awareness uh, is asia uh, project on collaboration together so we are planning to have uh, to establish the universe awareness east asia or asian chapter but previously we have european union universe awareness so now we are looking forward to have universe awareness in east asia and asia chapter so we can we'll collaborate more and we can uh, share more knowledge and do more outreach projects together all right Okay, so before I end my session, I would like to share with you guys a video. Can I do that? All right, I would like to share my videos. Okay. All right, you can see the screen. Okay. We are united in diversity, in astronomy, under the one sky. After more than a decade, it's really great to see that the community is still alive, the community is still coming together. Lastly, Zian is happy to support the first East Asia Universe Awareness Online. Thanks to Apa di Langit. Saya di sini sebagai perwakilan dari Nawi Indonesia dan ini jelas memperkenalkan sains untuk anak-anak itu. Kita juga akan take pictures from for the maximum eclipse in 
West Sumatra, and we I have am another. I'm sitting uh, near the Saigon uh, ha uh, harbor along the Saigon River. Yeah, to be exact, it's the kingdom of Thailand because Thailand has been ruled by several kings over. Uh, yeah. How <laughs> 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 다음으로... 이런 일식이 우리 역사 속에서는 어떤 모습이었을지 제가 또 영상을 하나 보여드릴게요. Next. Our deepest appreciation to our Science Center Singapore Observatory for their gracious support. Kalau di Kota Bumi sudah memasuki puncak? hingga kesentuhan akhir yang akan berlaku pada pukul 5.05 minit nanti ya. Ha, itu senario yang berlaku di Kuala Terengganu ada gambar-gambar ini sama itu Azir no mina san ni sekosi ano ama no iwato no hanashi wo shoukai shou to berawal tetapi kita dapat melihat uh, gerhana matahari dengan jelas itu screen um it's actually almost uh, the moon is almost coming up from uh, the uh, or that has that I think that the term is uh, Bakunawa so they they have the uh, uh, like a monster trying to swallow the the sun during a solar eclipse so you again see you Okay. Yeah. So I think uh, for me that's all from my presentation. I think we have much ample time for discussion or questions. I think. Yeah. Thank you. It's a great cooperation for over over the East Asia. Fantastic and amazing. Yeah. So thinking the the network right size of net network networking of you, you have done much more 10 times or 100 times people should watch your be <laughs> yes live streaming i should yes uh so is uh please post your anyone please post your questions for this our comments for this great activities to the q and a tools and then i will need to discuss with Morsa, is there any questions? Yeah. So uh, while waiting for the question, I think we can add something. Um, we are hoping for the future uh, for the more collaboration with uh, institution and others, uh, so we can share more on the cultures and scientific um, discoveries or research as well. So uh, I think during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we should uh, utilize all the resources that we have. And we, now with the connectivity that are uh, improving, I think due to the challenges that uh, people are looking forward how to get connected, uh, we should utilize it very well. And um, for me and for us in Apu uh, Langit, this is a good opportunity to connect everyone uh, through online platform. Yeah, so we are waiting for any suggestion and also um, collaboration uh, for the next event. Okay. Does that sound okay? Yeah, of course, yes. Uh, so the, I write down in the chat window, so the, the, the uh, uh, congratulations to make a big uh, international collaboration and connection. So the, the, I think you already have many, many uh, partial eclipsing uh, images at the archive. Then uh, the, uh, my suggestion is uh, to make a so-called a big picture. So, so I mean the, to map all partial eclipsing images 
on the large area map. So, so the, the the example is uh, I posted in the test window the, the URL. Unfortunately, 2009, I have only organized in Japan, in only in Japan. So the extension is uh, very uh, narrow. But the, in your uh, huge area in the uh, whole Southeast Asia, so in that case, uh, you can make a similar. Uh, movie or animation using the real image. So that should be uh, helpful to understand the uh, the Brazilian people said the many uh, people misunderstanding the, the earth is flat. But the, through the, 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 the partial solar eclipsing images, uh, people uh, rather easily to understand that the earth is not flat. <laughs> Yeah, so, let's try. <laughs> yeah, I think you can do right. I mean, thank you for the suggestion. It's a good suggestion, but we are looking forward to have waiting for the next event, or we can collect all the uh, photos that uh, uh, astronomers uh, uh, capture during the previous event, so we can make uh, like a simple videos or archive for that. I think that's a good suggestion. We can look on it. Uh, so let's start with something first, uh, and then we're strengthening our collaboration, and then we can work together. Okay. Mm. Yes. Nerito yes. san. Oh, oh, yes. Praise God. Thank you. Hey, uh, Muhammad, that was great. Now, how many images did you collect total? Did you collaboration collect? All right. So we are collecting um, only because that moment only 10 countries were actually uh, working together so every country share about one pictures during the exact uh, maximum e uh, event of the eclipse uh, uh, most of the even though we have numbers of uh, observers uh, but in some uh, places uh, clouds uh, is the challenges so that what you have is part of the uh, uh, collaboration, uh, so they share with us only one night for the maximum eclipse that happened in their country. Uh, we didn't capture, I mean, we didn't count how many actually, so we are looking at only one to represent the country. But I mean, each one country might have gotten many images, right? If they, if the weather was good. Yeah. So um, I believe like uh, Thailand, um, Vietnam. Uh, during that day, even Malaysia, we do have numbers of images uh, taken from our institution that collaborate together, like Planetarium, National Planetarium, and our uh, amateur astronomers. But we didn't count it and we didn't put it as an archive yet. But the, because of the main of the event is to show to the public what actually the eclipse looked like in the uh, countries. So we only pick one main photos as uh, represented. I, 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 I've been working for some uh, years with Jay Pasikoff, a great eclipse astronomer, cool. trying, to, trying to measure the editing, Eddington effect. That is, ah. Arthur Eddington saw a, a star move a little. And it's a very hard one because the detectors aren't linear. You know, it's not CCD, stars saturate. It, it, it's a mess in the corona. But, you know, it, it might be if we have a whole bunch of images we could stack them, you know, if we could align them and do that and get the magnification right, big problem. Might be able to see the Eddington effect. Wonder if you have a student who might want to pursue that. I'd advise them. I, I, I could give them uh, advice. Advice might be bad, but I'd be willing to uh, help on that if you want. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I, during the, uh, when we organized our planning to organize the event, we, we didn't think more on the science part or on the research part at the moment because we just hit with the COVID-19 and it takes us only about, I think, two weeks to prepare and to organize. Uh, so we mean like uh, put a side press on the uh, scientific research because the main objective during that moment is to get more people to aware what actually happening uh, on the day, I mean the solar eclipse, because everybody in the home and they are locked down, so they don't have all the opportunities to go to the observatories or any uh, public observation. So that's the main uh, focus on that day. So that I think okay. that's a good. Wait, can't hear you. 
Your microphone Ready? went bad. There now. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. If if you get inspired, let me know. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I. We need that thing. I mean, we can collect it. Yeah. Uh, we can work together soon. Great. Good. Great. Thank you. Thank for the suggestion. Okay, thank you all, and of course, thank you, Marissa. It's a great presentation. So, it's just a time for your 20 minutes presentation, so I appreciate your presentation. Yeah.